beautiful queens, handsome kings. Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Y'all know I was guided to do a little more um, just generals. I'm going to get y'all y'all individuals out, and I'm going to get y'all more elements. I'm not going to promise any days because, you know, we all got busy since the holidays, but I meditated last night, and I meditated this morning, and this was on me. Forget my earpiece. I'm waiting on a phone call. Plus, I need to listen to some music. All right, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Today, I'm going to do Cheetah Never Changes His Spots, but it always moves around looking for prey, okay? That's what came to my head. Let's start with the angel. That came right on out. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving, service, and divine. So my beautiful queens and handsome kings, I always tell y'all, we were born on thrones. The royal family was born on thrones. We all have gifts, 144, whatever, you know. Anybody that has a personal with me know that my gifts go way beyond these cards. I can tell you stuff a card can never tell you. But I also know that we in a visual world that, you know, there's some people that's on here that can just talk and that's the gift God gave them. God wanted me to have visuals that, let's talk about it. Like I'm a light worker, there's many of you that are light workers, and it's time for you to go into your power. You need to know that you've been attacked, whether it was business partners, family, friends, lovers, because you are a light worker, because you are an angel, because you are a spiritual leader, because you are a tarot card reader, because you are a priest or whatever it is you are. You are they prey. They come to attack you to try to bring you down. Keep on going, beautiful queens. Handsome kings. Don't never stop. Let's see what's going on. I was finna do a different, but when I was meditating before this video, this came to me. Yeah, yeah, look. My beautiful queens and handsome kings, look. Can't bring this up. Make this shit up. Look, the snake. Y'all have competition. Enemies. Clever, malicious people that got you, that's been having you look over your shoulders, or maybe you looking over your shoulders right now. The other woman. The other woman. The other woman doesn't mean it could mean many things. My handsome kings. It could be your baby mama, an ex girlfriend, a sister, a mother, an auntie, a grandma. It could be anything. My beautiful queens. It could be the same thing. A mother, a sister, a child. But anything. Or it could be somebody working with that other woman, whether you're my handsome king or beautiful queen, that wants you to be looking over your shoulders because guess what? They're the cheetah. Their spots never change. But they continually want to try to make you pray because they know you're truly a light worker. They're a demon or an entity from another lifetime that signed that karmic soul tie to try to stop you from being who you truly are. They was jealous that you was a king last lifetime. They was jealous that you was a queen last lifetime. They, they scars, they sefts, they kings. They want your throne. And y'all know I don't go too much into religion and all that, not because y'all know I know all of it. You know what I'm saying? But you need to know what you're up against. Everybody still think that Eve was Adam's first wife. And y'all talk bad about Lilith. Adam was jealous of Lilith's spirituality. And that's for another wife. His rib. So you mean tell me the, the world don't display that we got people need to go do some study. And I say all the time. If you really knew even Adam, you would really know that that's more of your masculine and your feminine. One, his rib, right? 
But yet, they still try to take, play men and women against each other. But if that's the rib, the, the, the Adam couldn't handle not taking the, the apple from his feminine side? Let me be quiet. The sword and the rose. Then Lilith was so evil and she was a whore. Ain't that how they do women right now in this world? And even vice versa, they do some men like that. When you don't want to go their way then. Because we all got masculine and feminine in us. My, my example is not to say men are right or women are right. It is an example of showing you how if it started in with Lilith that chasing your spirituality made you evil and a whore. Clarity, truth, revelation, solitary, force, honor, protection, power. The sword. Y'all pulled out your sword. And y'all cut out people that was being thorns in your life. Trying to stop you from being that blossom, fruitful rose that you were supposed to be when you got clarity, truth, and revelation. Now, some of y'all intuitively got it. Some of y'all got evidence. Some of y'all still waiting, me included, are waiting for it to come out. But that doesn't stop us from building in our spirituality. That doesn't stop us from building our businesses, working hard at our job. I've talked to beautiful queens and handsome kings that have started businesses in this pandemic. I have beautiful queens and handsome kings that have called me about promotions through this pandemic. Keep on healing. God's going to continue to give you blessings because you deserve it, my beautiful queens and my handsome kings. You deserve it. Some of y'all having engagements. Some of y'all have healed from past relationships of karmics in your life and know what you need. That some of my handsome kings are giving engagement rings. Some of my beautiful queens are accepting engagement rings. Some of y'all are just having unions with your spiritual family, business partners, yourself, new lovers. It says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Y'all completing your karmic debts. You're not going in 2021 still mad talking about I don't forgive. Yeah, you forgive and you forgive that per not only that person but yourself. You having a completion. Some of y'all are not only having true engagements, and I would like my invitation, please. Yes. I would love to come to a royal marriage. I sure will. But some of us are just having completions with ourselves. That engagement ring was us having a completion in putting our masculine and feminine. You know, if we was masculines, my, my handsome kings learned their feminine sides. If you was my beautiful queen, you knew that no. You needed your masculine side too. You brought it together for you to have a completion in yourself. So some of us have had a completion and had gave ourselves an engagement ring. Like no, some of us are getting really married. Congratulations, my beautiful queens and hands of kings. Y'all deserve love in your life. But know that the more you complete yourself. The more you're going to have enemies, known and unknown, trying to bring you down. And you got to also understand that it goes way deeper than you having enemies or people don't like you. Not giving these people um, excuses, whether it's friends, strangers, lovers, whoever. They're weak vessels that are entities and demons that go so much bigger than that person. You have to look deeper than that. That 
weak vessels. That's, that's why we're not going to give them no excuse. That an enemy and demon jumped into that weak vessel to try to stop you. They knew that person or, or those people already had something against you. So what that demon say? I got to stop my beautiful queen. I got to stop my handsome king. Let me jump into this weak vessel to try to bring them down. Perfect. You don't like him? Let me go jump into you so I can make it worse. You don't like him? Let me jump into you. You know my beautiful queen's handsome? Let's go. Let's get this. Let's get a card on there. The sword of road. The clarity, truth, the revelations. The solitary. Some of y'all was in solitary because the because of the force. That y'all had, some of y'all had to go get protection. Some of y'all went to solitary to protect yourself. But as you was in that solitary and protecting yourself or others protecting you, you learned your power. Remember who you are. You remember that you was born a beautiful queen or a handsome king, a handsome king or a beautiful queen. Look, I'm tired, boss. No, I don't want, I'm tired, boss. Those wounds made you a better queen and king. I tired about this. I'm not going to let anybody injure me anymore. Am I still going to have some good days and bad days? Hell yeah, that's life. But I'm not going to, I'm tired about this. I can't fight you no more. I'm going to grow in my spirituality and know that it's not my fight. It's the Lord's. It's God's. It's Raw. It's Buddha. It's whoever. Mahana. You know, I know. Spiritually, I know they all the same people, but you know, everybody has the right to, to believe. Everybody has the true right to believe in whatever higher power they want. That's never to be taken from you. You had snakes. You had enemies, clever enemies. The most clever ones was the ones that was in your family. Your lovers, business partners. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Hey, hey. Yeah, they was clever because they act like they love you, but they were really maliciously trying to be your competition. That eventually had to look over your shoulder like, oh shit, I'm a queen and I'm a king. Scar, he or she, you know? Let me tell you one story that bothers me the most in the whole world. When I got did the history on Medusa, I cried, y'all. I don't, and I'm bringing this up because snakes. If society didn't do anybody wrong like Lily, they did Medusa. Medusa was condemned as an evil person for being raped, for being beautiful. Do y'all really know that story? For being a beautiful woman, the king raped her, and the wife was jealous and cursed her. How is she out there, an evil person? That's how society is right now. When a woman gets raped or a man gets raped, they make you feel like you did something wrong, like you wanted it because you was handsome. Because you was beautiful. Because you was a child and couldn't protect yourself. Learn, I tell my beautiful queens and handsome kings to research. Research everything. Don't just go, don't even just go by what the hell I say. Research the things I say. I love to have a healthy conversation with you not to prove to be the you. Look, people shocked. Those snakes are shocked that when they thought you was, they was warm with you and you wasn't doing nothing bad, you was actually healing yourself. You was the knight of fucking pinnacles. They didn't dot all their eyes and cross all their teeth, but you did. And look at their asses shocked as fuck. Because when they thought they was coming in for the last kill, <laughs> you showed them they're not <laughs> back, back, 50 feet. 
Not only did I heal myself, I healed my financial, I healed my heart, I, feel, I healed my life. Whoever told you that I wasn't worn with you? The prey became the prey. Look, they shocked as fuck. You was dotting all your eyes and crossing all your T's when they thought they was winning. They was never winning. They was never winning. So many people take kindness for weakness. I'm a water baby. <laughs> Y'all already know. Half baby. People take your love and think you weak. But then they try to act like a victim when they you find out they didn't love you like you loved them so you didn't have no problem. Off with their head. They shocked. They shocked. But you never loved me, right? You never loved me as a handsome king. You never loved me as a beautiful queen. You was always my competition. You was always trying to be the other woman, male or female. You was always trying to sit on my throne, a snake. I tell you all the time, a snake just sheds skin and never stops being a fucking snake. And the look at the snake on fire. They thought that was going to burn you up and you became a rising phoenix and the fire went back to their malicious ass. The first engagement you had was with yourself. You married your feminine side. You married your masculine side. You healed yourself enough to know what kind of good relationships you should be in and what you shouldn't be in, that you'll never go through that again. You don't punish yourself for bad relationships, whether they was lovers, family, friends, or business partners. You grew from it. You didn't let the past, you can't change the past. So you ain't letting it hold you back. You learning from it, so you don't bring it into your new life. Look, and see that star? <laughs> star says, remember who you are, your ancestors. Said, I'm guiding you to break these generational curses for you to have a completion, for you to meet your real twin flame, your real soulmate. Have that real union with yourself so when you have that union with your beautiful queen or your handsome king, it will be eternity because you deserve it. And they crying over spilled milk, five of cups, because they thought they was always going to be able to suck off your energy, suck off your money, be you. Two cards came in. But you said, no, nah, I know y'all have a lack of teamwork for me, but that don't mean God ain't got real teamwork out there for me. Y'all truly got passion to move on. Eight of Wands to new journeys. Deserving journeys. There's somebody that I've been on about. Y'all, it's holiday time. Take $2 to yourself, please. My beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yeah, we're in the pandemic. A lot of people still losing their job, but you have not lost your mind. You have not lost your ability to think and grow. Why you ain't been to that Dollar Tree, my beautiful queen? Because I'm talking to a woman, because that's what God just put out my dad. You still ain't been to the Dollar Tree yet to buy that dollar pen and paper to at least write your ideas down? To at least do the studying you need to do so when the pandemic is, you ain't got to know everything. You just got to believe. God will do the rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I got a handsome king that wants to go back to school. Go. Go. This is the perfect time. It's the pandemic, baby. There's grants out there for you. Look. Bridget. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Bridget. I love Bridget, too. I brought Bridget out. I got a beautiful queen that Bridget protects her right now, y'all. Bridget is a goddess, but she holds Mike, Archangel Michael's energy. Yeah. Kylie. Endings and beginnings. There's a new moon Monday. Keep on writing your intentions. Keep on taking your episodes, salt, sea salt baths, baking soda, vinegar, peroxide. Do you think our ancestors used to, uh, using all this technology and new things, they use what they had? If you got a blue candle, how dare you still not light that candle like it's a white or black candle for protection? It says, the old must be released so the new can enter. Y'all had to release the old for your third eye to open. For the new to enter. And that's what y'all did, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Lotus flowers. Some of y'all need to be meditating more. I, I, how do you meditate? Look up YouTube. How do I do shadow work? Y'all looking these these tarot card readings, but you still ain't looked up on YouTube how to do shadow work. There's all different kind of meditations. Who the hell told you you had to meditate at the beginning for 30, 40 minutes to an hour? You're trying to be something that you ain't. Start with five minutes. Start with 10 minutes. Sit down with your babies. Yeah, because look, some of y'all pig. Heartbreak break took y'all to riches. It says the pig weathers near and far. It's an omen to phenomenal luck and great abundance. High honors and all ambitions attained. Three of Swords. This heartbreak was God taking you to phenomenal luck, phenomenal riches. Somebody needs to play a scratch ticket. Look at the bottom. You're supposed to have this rapid growth. Go on this horizon. Look over. Go on these journeys. Move to different cities, different countries, different states. Even if you can't go right now, you're supposed to be in the process of having it in your mind that you're willing to go for God to do the rest. It says, the money safe indicates riches. If shut towards a person, the votes lost the speculation. God shutting that side of the door to everybody. To the left, to the left. Hey. All your enemies. To the left, God shut it, but he left that right door open for you. They extra jokers. Let the jokers be jokers, baby. Look. And you still got fox, sly fox. You got a snake and a fox around you. Look, it says the fox close proximity is trust of acquaintance who seeks to betray you. Quit the, That's the ace of cups. Quit telling all you got that business. You want to tell your business to something, write it in the journal. Go talk to a tree. They talk back. I remember I used to tell, I didn't even know. Be, I always, you know what, I'll tell y'all. We've been born, a lot of us was born with spiritual gifts. But just because you was born through a, born with a spiritual gift and going through a spiritual awakening are two different things. Speaking from experience. I said to them, let me take two of these, so let me take two. Didn't I just say y'all telling people too much shit? Friend.
constancy. Constancy. Some of y'all have a friend. Look at them flowers. That wants to harvest with you, but ain't willing to do the work. Some of y'all got some loyal friends. Some of y'all do. Some of y'all constantly have quality of being faithful and dependable. Some of y'all do, but some of y'all don't. Know the difference. Know the difference. Because the constancy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Being the depend maybe this person, this friend might know that you're dependable and faithful. But we're going to get, we hey, hey, Constancy can mean many things. We're going to see. Because constancy can just mean y'all constantly healing yourself. You're constantly doing your work. You're constantly growing your business. You're constantly doing good at, at, at your job to get promotions or keep that check coming in. You're constantly paying your bills. You're constantly taking good care of your kids. You're constantly cooking. You're constantly eating better. Give me one on constantly. You're constantly creating. You, didn't I just say? Creating yourself. Your bills, your family, your kids, your job. Let's see what this friend is. Was keep on. Keep on constantly loving yourself. Keep on constantly being loyal to yourself. You teach others how to treat. You, my beautiful Quincy Hanson kids. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of you, my beautiful friends and handsome kings, see that your friend sees that you're self-efficient. See that you're a rising phoenix. See that you're on top. See that you're on top. And they want to be on top with you. Some of them are good friends. Some of them are not. But they see your courage. They see that you can build anything that your heart desires. They see your, that you're handsome. They see that you're beautiful. Some of y'all, only people you've had in your life since you've been going through your spirituality is a good friend. Some of y'all, Got friends just around you just to spy on you. Again, you know your story. But my beautiful queens and handsome kings, not only is this a friend spying on you, but you still got family, lovers, business. Spying, spying, spying. And they doubted that you would ever have lack of self-awareness to keep on moving on. That's why they spy. Yeah. Release yourself. Suspicion. Th this is release yourself. You never make yourself a needless sacrifice. And you know the hangman is somebody that's comfortable in their ways. You can't be comfortable in your ways with upside down. All the blood's going to your head. You got to let go of old beliefs. What, what Kylie say? Ending for beginnings. You must, the old must be released for new. The old must be released for new. You can't stay in old beliefs, old ways. You need, the sun is the hap, most happiness. You got to have suspension. You're going to have to go ahead and do that acrobat trick. Do that triple somersault. Get that gold medal. Land on your damn feet, my beautiful queens and hands of kings. Again, some of y'all going to be releasing friends. Some of y'all going to be holding on to friends. Some of y'all going to be releasing family, lovers, business partners. Everybody know their story. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's time for y'all to get rid of cold-hearted, manipulative 
lying ass, bitter bitches and bitter bums in your life. They don't know the truth and these pathological motherfuckers believe their own lies, male or females. Yeah. Some of them spying on you because they know you got your independency now and they know they're not going to have a reunion with you. And remember, Christmas is coming up. New Year's is coming up. Whether you celebrate them or not. Do I believe in Christmas? No, not since my spirituality. But I never take away something that I started with my babies. They still going to have Christmas gifts. I teach them the truth. They coming from me. But I'm still not going to let them, and when we live in a society world of showing, they make them feel like they're going to be less. There's going to be some beautiful mothers and fathers that's not going to be able to afford anything or much. Many blessings go out to them. Doesn't make them more or not. Hopefully they can bake some cookies or make some hand gifts with their babies. Go to the Dollar Tree. It ain't about the material thing. It's about loving and spending time together. Some of y'all have, again, your light workers, your spiritual beings, male or females. You were born queens and kings. You, some of you were born empaths, intuitive, clairvoyant, clairvoyancy, mediums, some uh, rainbows, ingos. Some of us was born with a lot of those gifts. Some of you were born teachers, whether it's a spiritual teacher or a kindergarten teacher, a nurse or a doctor, a dentist or a chiropractor. It's still part of healing. A therapist. Some of y'all have had, got a lot of knowledge of secrets. Some y'all tell, some y'all don't. Know that there is some hidden things still around you. I've been telling you guys for a whole year. God is, yeah, we've been going through this for a long time because God already had told me, baby, I've told you some secrets. But I needed you to be, meditate more, be more stronger, because baby, when you find out, you think there's going to be more that's going to have you sitting down, really crying and talking to me. Yeah. Y'all don't really know how overbearing and impulsive some of these people have really been in your life. You know some of it. But remember, high priestess, there's still some things hidden that you don't know. And what you know already hurting you. Wait till you find out about some of the black magic, about some of the hidden documents, about some of the hidden family members or friends that's still smiling in your face that was working with the people against you. Wait. Look. Everybody's dreams is going to be shattered. Yours and them, because some of these people y'all still been holding on to, thinking they can go with you and they can't. But they constantly seeing that you being loyal and dependable and they keep on, they know they want to go with you. But broken family, discontent in unions, everybody's not going to be able to go with you. It's not going to stop the constancy of you being loyal and dependable and have a quality of growing, but it's going to constantly make you know who is loyal and who is dependable and who can go with you. Because I'm telling you, some of these friends are just around because they know you're harvesting. Some of them are loyal friends. You'll know the difference. You'll know the difference. Yeah. Because look, Queen of Pentacles, y'all got some mirror, mirror on the walls, who's the fairest of them all, and really jealous because the mirror keep on telling them, my handsome king, my beautiful queen. Some of them really here, still hearing it. Y'all got financially unstable people living check to check trying to be you, smothering, self-centered. Trying to, some of them are already in your energy. Some of them are going to try to come back in your energy. Because they depend 
on your energy or your money to live. It's the holidays. What's the best time not to come back with apologies? Amateur ass apologies. Some of them come back with apologies because they didn't injure themselves not being in their life. Some of them come back with apologies to injure you. I'm never going to tell who can be, who can't, but I did start off saying that in my meditation it says cheetahs never change their spots. Leopards never change their spots, but they always move around for new prey. And y'all got people that are around looking for new prey, trying to be in survival mode and win at all costs. And you're going to have to be careful through these holiday times because through holiday times is when you get emotional. Y'all do not go in 2021 not believing that you can't have endings for new beginnings. It's time for y'all to end some of these people in your life. That does not mean hate them. You can still love them, but love them from a distance. Do not open back those doors. Do not back down. Stand up for what you believe in. That's part of shadow work. People suppressing from you or others suppressing that it was not all right for you to believe in what you believed in to keep on going because why they wanted to win at all costs. They was lying to you. It's time for you to believe in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not your burdens and responsibilities. It's not for you to have, look, they're trying to stop your completions. But you're supposed to have completions in life, see? You're supposed to. But you got people trying to come back to stop your unions. Whether it was just your union with your masculine and feminine, your union with your new lover. They don't want it. Please be careful. You still got malicious snakes. That you should never stop looking over your shoulder because they still up to some bullshit. My beautiful queens and handsome kings. I'm going to stop there because I don't like too long of messages. This is where y'all going to. The throne, the sanctuary. Y'all got the pig. Y'all got the safe. God is taking y'all to riches. To abundance, luck, phenomenal abundance and luck, honor from your ambitions. Three of swords, your heartbreak is taking you to luck. It's taking you to phenomenal money next to the safe. God's, God shut that door on the people that was trying to take your energy, your money. No, it's holiday times. You still got people trying to betray you. That's close acquaintance. They're clever enemies. I love you beautiful queens and handsome kings. Be careful. Never back down. Keep on growing. You deserve to have the best. Go back, Simba. Because you got the royal family. Your royal family. Tomorrow on the boom with you. Your other kings and queens. We got we all going to each other's kingdom and knocking all the in, knocking all the scars down to take your kingdom back. So we can have royal parties, state to state, country to country, city to city. Pandemic can't last forever. The pandemic wasn't really that bad. It gave you an opportunity to to be able to be away from your enemy to see who they really was and to grow into who you really always be. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings.